morning, Northwest. I'm Brianna, and I'd like to welcome you to Titan Connect. Please stand for the pledge. Put your right hand over your heart and your left hand by your side and say it with us. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for dress code check. You may be seated. And now for today's announcements. The Pearl Spotlights for this week, 8th grade, Kamaria Mackin, and 7th grade, Kylie Farrar. Um, Drop-off items needed at parent drive-in boxes provided or homeroom teacher, 6th grade, recycled paper, newspaper, sales ads, and magazines, 7th grade, old or used t-shirts, 8th grade, plastic grocery bags, not soy with food. And now for the Positivity Project. Good morning, Northwest. This is Brianna with this week's Positivity Project Character Strength Enthusiasm. The energy, the character strength of enthusiasm means that you approach life with excitement and energy. You energize, you energize people around you. Why it matters. People who demonstrate a high level of enthusiasm are more likely to complete tasks and exceed minimum requirements as a result of their passion. One person's enthusiasm can spark others to speak and act more than more with more energy and conviction in other words here are some synonyms you may recognize for the character strength of enthusiasm energetic excited spirited zestful passionate and upbeat remember a person can show enthusiasm every single day as you go through your day be sure to look for opportunities where you can demonstrate the character strength of enthusiasm and now for mr trump and I'm enthusiastic. <laughs> Enthusiasm. I'm excited, right? Yay! I'm excited. Okay, behind me. Oh, I got to go this way. I am looking for anchors and technicians for next year's Titan Connect. Uh, all your homeroom teachers, they can print you out an application. They're due Wednesday of next week. So you've got a whole week to get those in to me. You can give them to your homeroom teacher or get them into my mailbox. I just want to let you know if you're going to be an anchor, remember that you're representing the school. So I want the people to apply to, you know, behave. They're not throwing spitballs and over there in impact. And, you know, you keep, keep your grades well and you, you're a good student. So I'm looking for you. Fill out your applications. Oh, and I know that sixth graders are going to be seventh graders. They're going to be like, oh, what about me? Yes, go ahead. Uh, fill out an application form. Uh, preference is going to go to eighth grade because they're going to be going to the high school. So I'll be looking at eighth grade first, but I may be needing you here. So go ahead, both grades, get the forms into me, and then you get an interview, and I'll get back to you. Now for Mr. Henson. Are you enthusiastic? I am very enthusiastic this morning. Well, thank you for that kind welcome, Mr. Trump. Hope everybody's having a nice Wednesday. There's not a lot of Wednesdays left in the school year. It's winding down. So we're going to jump quickly into our Wednesday words of wisdom. Today is National School Nurse Day. This holiday was created all the way back in 1972 by the National Association of School Nurses. And the aim is to recognize our school nurses and all acknowledge all that they do in our schools. There are a lot of things that our nurses take care of. They deal with medical situations. They deal with monitoring student health. They deal with giving medication. They deal with handling emergencies. There's a lot on their plate. So we want to give a big shout out today to Nurse Stover for all she does. Thank you so much. All right, now this is one of those things that you might be very mixed about. It's National Clean Up Your Room Day. Now just think about it. In general, Clean Up Your Room Day is a day that parents look forward to. And unfortunately, their children typically dread. Or if you're an adult, you might dread it as well. You might have that messy room even as an adult. Okay, and this day you can't, ex you can't make excuses for not cleaning your room because it's a holiday. So you're celebrating a holiday while you're cleaning your room. So today, take a chance to straighten up, to clean up, 
and to sort your room and make it nice for your parents. Make them proud. Now, for those, there's lots of you out there that love seafood. Today is National Shrimp Day. Did you realize that this is the most popular seafood option in America? And it's for many reasons. It's so versatile. It's easy to cook, it's tasty, and it's a good source of lean protein. Did you, did, can you believe in three ounces of shrimp, there are actually 20 grams of protein? That's, that's pretty nutritious. Now, for those of you that remember back, remember our friend Forrest Gump? Well, Forrest Gump loved to talk about shrimp. Just think about this. Shrimp can be canned. You can have smoked shrimp, pickled shrimp, deep fried shrimp, skillet fried, barbecued, grilled, shrimp chowder, shrimp salad, coconut shrimp, jambalaya shrimp, gumbo shrimp, and shrimp scampi. So on National Shrimp Day, enjoy your favorite shrimp dish, just like Forrest Gump. All right, now our quote of the week is actually in honor of National School Nurses Day. And here's our quote. Cheers to your dedication and hard work. Cheers to all the efforts you put in. And warm wishes on School Nurses Day. So once again, we want to give a huge shout out to Nurse Stover and all the other school nurses in the county and in the area for all that they do each day and for their hard work and dedication to our students here at Northwest Cabarrus Middle. So as we close for another Wednesday, Titan family, just remember, be respectful, be responsible, and be safe. Make it a great day. The choice is yours. Bueller. 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 Bueller.